Acts chapter 1 verse 8. And we'll start out with that again this morning. Ready? But when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, you will receive power and will tell people about me everywhere. In Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. And we talked about Jerusalem was what? Right where they were. So that's mission every day. In your everyday life, you need to be spreading the good things about Jesus. That's part of the mission. And then J Judea was like more of the same, right? What's that famous word again? Come on, louder. There we go. More of the same. So the mission is ever increasing, right? Continuing to do more and more and spreading more and more seed. Because the more seed you spread, the more... Yes, the more results you'll get. Good. See, y'all could be farmers. And then we talked about how Samaria was people that were different, people that you might not normally associate with, and that was mission everybody, that we not only need to spread the, the message every day and, and more and more, but we need to cross over and spread the message to people that aren't in our regular circle. And then the ends of the earth was mission everywhere, that we have a task as the Church of Jesus Christ to bring the good news everywhere. And so we talked about... The fact that, um, you know, mission every day and mission ever increasing was kind of obvious, right? It was the stuff we've already been talking about, about sharing the good news. But I promised that we would talk a little bit more about how do we reach everybody everywhere. And we're going to start this week, we're not going to finish because it's it's such a huge topic. that, And it's, it's a topic that's, that's near and dear to my heart, so I can go on and on and on about it. I, I really do is near and near to God's heart. Because this is the reason that he's pouring out his spirit. This is the reason that he sent Jesus to die. was because he had a mission and it was to save the world. Well, how do we reach everybody everywhere? It requires teamwork. I'm not going to go there and read it, but who remembers that in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, Paul talks about the fact that the church is like a body. And there's one body in many parts. And every part of the body does its own job. Just like your eyes do their job of seeing. And your ears do their job of hearing. And your legs do their job of running. So that when you see a car coming toward you. And you hear their horn blasting. Your legs does its part and runs out of the way. So just like that. The church is about teamwork. And working together. So not what you can do. Mission every day on your own, right? You're responsible for that all by yourself. You can do mission ever increasing on your own because it means you doing more. But can you reach everybody everywhere by yourself? Can you, Pony? No. Right answer. And so this requires teamwork. And I want to point something out to you because I keep making these connections for you. That in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, when Paul talks about the church being a body that works together, guess what he else he's talking about? Spiritual gifts. The gifts of the Holy Spirit. Because the pouring out of the Holy Spirit and the mission of spreading the message everywhere is everywhere in the Bible very closely tied together. Matthew 28, 18, who remembers that verse that we, we read last week? Matthew 28, 18 to 20. Go, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given unto me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teach them to observe all the commandments I've given to you. And behold, I'm with you always, even to the end of the age. So what's the operative key word there? Go. Go, right? And so the first thing that you can do, I'm going to have three parts, okay, that you can do to reach everybody everywhere. And two of them are going to be today, and one of them is going to have to be later. But go is the first one. And go we've talked about a little bit. And go can reach two and a half parts of the mission, right? You going throughout your everyday life and telling people about Jesus takes care of mission every day. Mission ever increasing is more going. And mission everybody. You can go to other people, right, that are not like you. They could be old. I mean, they could just not be good looking like you are. And so then they're different than you, right? 
They could be of a different race than you. They could be of a different generation than you. They could be of a different social class than you. They could be the emo kids. I mean, except for Sue Ann, because then she'd be going to people that are the same as her. You're not emo? No. Mine's my own category. Uh-huh. That's what all the emo people say. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm just messing with you, Sue Ann. Okay? I'm just messing with her. No, it's not. It's just messing with my good friend. Sarah's about to come up here and deck me, I think. <laughs> okay. But, okay. But you can go to two and a half parts of the mission, okay? Now, I want to talk about the mission everybody part real quick, which is getting out of your comfort zone. Don't worry, Sarah. Selena's is not weak. She can defend right. herself. You have a stick hiding there, Swan? <laughs> okay, in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, Paul said, To the weak I became weak to win the weak. I have become all things to all men, so that by all possible means I might save some. I do all this for the sake of the gospel, that I may share its blessings. What did Paul say there? He actually said a bunch of other things before, but I didn't want to take a lot of time to read it. So he said, when I go to the Jewish people, I become like a Jewish person, which he technically was. Okay? And when I go to people who live under the law, I become like one who lives under the law, even though I don't have to, so I can reach them. And when I go to people that don't have the law, I live like one that doesn't have the law, even though I'm under Christ's law. I live like them, so I can reach them. So when I go here, I... I don't take part in their sin, okay? He didn't say that. But he becomes like, see, now y'all figured out why I became Midway. <laughs> right? Because I took this idea from Paul. He said, I become like the people that I want to reach with the message so that I can reach them. And so I took after Paul and said, well, I want to reach Vietnamese people, so what do I have to do? I have to become Vietnamese. No, he said become like the Yeah, yeah, become Vietnamese. <laughs> I mean, I, right, I like, I like Vietnamese and I became Vietnamese. That, we're all set there, right? And so, listen, but, but this is the point that I want to make, okay, is that you have a responsibility as a Christian, especially as a Holy Spirit-filled Christian and a Holy Spirit-empowered Christian, to reach people that are different from you and to change yourself to step out of your comfort zone and leave what's comfortable for you to intentionally go to people that are different than you and reach them. See, I wanted to reach Tony. That's why I spiked up my hair. <laughs> Just kidding. I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> so, the point there, okay, the point there is that you have a personal responsibility to go. Now, what's one, one example of a way that you can go to people that you wouldn't normally encounter? I'll tell you about it. AIM trips. Remember, we had an AIM trip come to our church, didn't we, recently? And there were teenagers that came from another church, and AIM just stands for Ambassadors in Mission. Okay? Ambassadors are people who represent the country and go to another country. Well, we represent the kingdom of God. We go to places to spread the kingdom of God, right? And so these ambassadors in mission, they're just teenagers, normal teenagers like you. Well, some of you. And, and, no worry, I put you in that category of normal, man. Normal, you know. And, just kidding. How come when my brother picks on Nancy, nobody gets mad at him, but I pick on Slan and y'all get mad at me? You can defend yourself. I've learned that in the last three years. You are very good at defending yourself. You are not weak. You are not incapable. I mean, you will remember. Okay, 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 let's move on, let's move on. Okay? So you have an opportunity. Listen, I want you to take this seriously. Because you have an opportunity, and you need to think about the fact that someday you're going to have to go. Okay? And that's one way that we can go, is to, to make a missions trip and go somewhere to people that we might not otherwise meet. 